The Athletics Association of Guyana has a mutual understanding with the current minister responsible for sport, Dr. George Norton, for the Carifta Games to be hosted in Guyana in 2020. Hudson revealed that he met with Norton and the hosting of the prestigious meet was on the agenda. Since Dr. Norton took over the responsibility of sports, he um, did invite me and I went to his office once and I did put it out there and then he asked the entire council to come and meet him again, which we went. And one of the things that we discussed at that last meeting that we had was, was last week um, was the possibility of hosting Carifta Games in 2020 here. We know 2018 and 2019 have already been handed out. 2020 is going to be the 50th year for Carifta, and we have never hosted it in Guyana. And we've been attending um, and competing um, in, a, in a very tangible way to Carif. So I think we're one of the people who are always far between the top four, top five recently. So we think the time has come for us to host. Uh, I did say this in the news um, earlier in, in, in reference, um, or just after we'd have hosted the South American Junior Championships, that our next big meet that we're looking to pull off is Carifta. Hudson also highlighted the process for such a bid to be approved by the Carifta Committee. The process of getting that done, from all um, my uh, investigation with people who would have hosted before, is that we must have a sign-off on the government. So it makes no sense us putting together one of the best proposals unless the government is on board with us because Krifta would not listen to us if that's not so. So we did approach Dr. Norton on the subject, and he said it's one of the things that he's going to look into and probably talk to Cabinet about. Um, but I was kind of enlightened that um, come um, at Coach 10K last Sunday that he would have announced that, yes, um, the government of Guyana you know, is willing to assist us in hosting this event. In addition, Hudson noted that since Dr. Norton has made such a promise, it gives the government the opportunity to really make the event into something special for Guyana. Well, you know, we hear Minister Jordan, the Minister of Finance, keep talking about early planning and early budgeting. And, you know, we have to make submissions very early. If we have two and a half years to three years to, to come up with our quote and submit it, I think it's good enough time for the government to put everything in place to make this happen for us. I see, I, I know, it's just, there's nothing but positive spin-offs that can come from this in terms of the development of the sport, and also for sports tourism in Guyana because I know that the amount of people that will be coming in here for such an event is, is going to be a real big, big sum and the hotels would just be smiling at, at the kind of returns they can get on, on supporting an event like this. Guyana has been constantly improving at the junior crystal level with Compton Caesar creating history at the event earlier this year by becoming the first male sprinter from Guyana to capture gold in the men's 100 meters, an event often dominated by the Jamaicans. In addition, Guyana also walked away with eight medals at the event, with four being gold, their biggest gold medal haul at the event to date. Guyana has never hosted the event since its inception in 1972 and Dr. Norton's bold proclamation now puts the government in the limelight for the next few years with regard to how they develop the sport in an effort to raise the bar yet again. Tristan Joseph, News and Sport.